What's going on guys? Cannabis Express 420 here. I am going to talk today about something I'm extremely passionate about and will help you save money in your garden and hope and it will also help you get a lot more yield out of a single seed which seeds are expensive. Genetics in general are expensive. So I'm going to help you cut down your costs while filling your storage space. So let's get into it. Today the topic is, you guessed it, cloning. Now, a couple tips that are going to help you with cloning and also why cloning is extremely important is good knowledge to know when you're getting into growing cannabis because cannabis is expensive, bud is expensive, concentrates are expensive, all of it is expensive. Growing the plant is expensive too, but it is nothing compared to the product with the market we're in right now. And that's going to be a downtrend in the future. However, if you stumble upon great genetics that you can't find anywhere else and you just find that perfect pheno, man, and you lose it, trust me, it hurts. Speaking from personal experience. So we're going to talk about cannabis cloning, how to help you, and why it's important. So first off, why is cloning important and something you definitely need to know how to do? Well, cannabis cloning is the practice of taking a plant from a mother plant, taking a cutting, a section, if you will, of that plant, placing it in soil, and then watching it grow into its own plant in its own cycle while not taking up as much space as the mother plant in most cases. Now, this can obviously expand your grow time of a single plant theoretically, if that's how you want to define it. That's how I, that's how I define it. If it comes from a mother plant, that is the plant. Well, we're going to get right into how to help you get that process to boost how much you're getting out of your garden. So without further ado, step number one is using cloning hormone. Now, it comes in a lot of different media. Personally, I do recommend a powder because especially with the planting limits, it's not like you're going to be cloning millions of plants at a time. A lot of places have legal limits, so you're definitely gonna want the shelf life of a powdered cloning hormone. Personally, I use Clonex powder, and it has been helping me for years, and I just kind of dip the cutting in there, and then I just watch the magic happen. And it normally roots within 7 to 14 days, which is a pretty normal amount of time. And I have had about a 95% success rate, which is extremely high. If you are on an extreme budget and you need to cut the dollars and cents, you can put the plant directly into the growing media. However, it will not be as high of a success rate without the cloning hormone in my experience. Tip number two is you're definitely going to need the humidity up. You're definitely going to need the humidity up because they perspirate and breathe mostly through their leaves when they're at this stage. Remember, clones at the beginning of their life cycle do not have roots. That's the entire point of going through the cloning process. You are basically taking care of a seedling, except instead of watering the stem as much, you're going to be watering the air a lot more. You're going to want to go into that dome two times a day or so and spray that dome. Keep the humidity up, keep the air flowing if you need to, and make sure those plants have a non-molding, high humidity with good fresh air, and they're going to be doing fantastic. Now, a mistake I made in the past, mind you, is they don't need that much light because they're not going to be growing their leaves as much. They're not going to be growing vegetative matter as much. They're, they're mostly going to be focusing on root development. So you're not going to need as much light for the actual clones until those roots start to show up. Now, that's a mistake I made in the past and why that's important is if you work inside of a clone dome, you're going to be losing humidity because the light causes heat and the heat will make the water evaporate. So you're going to want that humidity to last even longer. You're going to want to dim down that light or maybe turn it off altogether. Now, a big mistake while cloning is not knowing which clones to actually take. Which clone do you take when you look at your big repertoire of clones and are deciding the potential of which one is going to be the most healthy and fast growing? Well, Normally, you're going to want to take the ones with the higher quantity of roots that are faster. The, the healthier plants 
are definitely going to go into the veg stage a lot healthier and give you that big boost, that big boost of growth that is essential in the beginning to build a very strong plant. Remember, if you practice plant training, which I recommend to every single person, whether you do high stress or low stress, it does not matter. You're going to be wanting to take the healthiest plant you possibly can, which goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Unfortunately, a huge mistake with clones is you can take too many. If you are in a place where you are limited with how much you grow, and right now in the environment we're in, it is a huge problem. Personally, I can only grow 12 plants. So if I take clones, I have to wait until I see a root system because that's how a plant is defined. A plant is defined as a organism with a root system, <sighs> technically in my state. So I can't fill up six slots with a single pheno if I want to be growing a decent variety. So keep an eye on your plant number. Make sure you're not taking too many clones and filling too many slots because that will limit how much diversity you actually have inside of your storage space. I hope you guys can grow strong, robust clones. It's going to be fantastic if you can pull it off. It's a fairly easy process and these tips are definitely going to take you up to another level above whatever level you're in. So, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you liked the tips in this video, hit the like button. I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.